Hello citizens of Pride Mighty Nation of Theodora, welcome to the Frontiers, we're playing Obsilis 4 and things are actually going pretty well for us so far. Crimea has no army, it's at low war uh, enthusiasm. We have managed to get rid of their ally, no guy, and we are sieging almost all of their lands. I think Golden Horde is sieging that, yeah, mm-hmm, they are. This will soon reinforce, like a month. Yeah, one month and it will be done. Reinforcing. Actually, 20th in the total score, and that's funny. Third in Diplo rank. I suppose our our strong allies <laughs> make some difference, and our very good, very successful war. Let's see. Actually, score comparison. Strong allies plus three. Naval morale. Alright, well, I suppose strong allies. Who's the first? Portugal. Strong allies. And on something on top of that. Yeah. Alright. That's good. England is sieging. That also actually will build up some unrest in this province. Their war exhaustion and stuff like that. That might cause some rebels to spawn. Which would be awesome. Potentially this is going to be a great campaign. Potentially. Right, keep working on Poland. Eventually Ottomans will turn their attention onto us, but that will happen hopefully much, much later. When will we get improved colonial range? Level 7. Okay, not happening yet. The Knights have allied with Venice. Byzantines are at war with Bosnia and they're allied with Serbia. Pretty much standard stuff happening here. Genoa, still allied with France. That's pretty much it for our colonial range. We can only core like Rhodes, Moria. Moria is our limit. Like we can only core Moria, but not Achaea. Which is fucking ridiculous, I must admit. Byzantines have moved their capital to Moria. They do that all the fucking time now. Which is really, really stupid, history why history wise, but I suppose it makes sense from an AI standpoint. His capital is isolated, and uh, he kind of wants to move it to a non-isolated territory if he has one, in which case he does, it is Moria. <laughs> it's still so fucking retarded. It's like the Byzantine court all of a sudden decided to move into freaking Moria from Constantinople. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Losing money. Because army maintenance, I suppose. Alright, so we got Crimea sieged, thanks to our allies. I love, by the way, that they actually transfer the occupation to me. Circassia won't transfer occupation to you, by the way. Even more than that, as soon as you... Um, As soon as you vassalize Crimea, they might actually turn hostile to you because they want this land for themselves. So us losing that royal marriage with them is actually very valuable. Gives us an opportunity to attack them. As much as I want more land, I also don't want more land in here because it will make joining Empire more complicated. And I'm kind of wanna join the Empire. Kind of. Although escaping to a new world also sounds like an opportunity. But, again, this is probably not gonna happen anytime soon. We have fixed most of the mechanics that allow you to escape 
with nations. Like, you can't even annex vassals if you cannot core their territories. Who's open in Crimea? No. You will only become my vassal. Oh, they will actually take it. Good. And that will drag me into a war with the Golden Horn. Which is only with Uzbek, but... Hmm. Hmm. Do I want to fight the Golden Horde now? Probably not. Most likely not. Golden Horde. They have no manpower, but they also have 12,000 troops. Which I don't necessarily want to fight. In fact, I kind of want um, Golden Horde to peace out now or something. <coughs> What's the war score? They have 12 war score. Maybe they're sieging no guy or something. I don't know. Surprisingly, England decided that they don't need to siege us off. Okay. Sure. Whatever works. No guy is getting wrecked by Kazan in the meantime. Shrekt. Shrek to Rooney in pepperoni. Oh, we actually maybe could fight Golden Horde. So maybe they just take this peace offer and leave. Theodora and Vassal. I'm gonna take I'm not gonna take your money. Crap. I wish I could see like will my allies join that war? Alright, so we have assumed leadership. And I can now call to arms. Okay, good. So I can call to arms. Trevisan is in debt, and you are also in debt. But Georgia will join. Ramazan has even, even entered the coalition. Oh, and also no guys on our side. Well, that's not really that good. But can I maybe you peace out you right of the way, right away? Yeah, I can okay, actually. All right. So that was cool. <laughs> cool war, bro. Best war ever. <laughs> Alright, let's... Um, Kandar is going to disappear in a second here, so we'll rival Genoa. And I guess that's that. Ottomans... Oh yeah, we need to improve relations with Ottomans now, because they might revolt, revolt against us. If we don't... Georgia has announced Genoa as a rival. Good. So we have rivaled right people, pretty much. Ottomans! They got pretty pissed off about us. That's pretty bad. I mean, if I were crimey in this in this scenario, I would just go for it. Alright. So... Now that we've done that, we're actually allowed to have a, an additional guy. I think he's going to be a horsey, but horses are expensive. Hmm. First of all, let's turn turn down all of our army maintenance because we don't need it. Might as well turn down our navy maintenance because we don't need it. Circassia, I will turn this down for now because he might actually still turn on us here. Oh, he's got the same dynasty though. Actually got the of Gothia dude on him. Hmm. I wonder if you can claim the throne as a tribal federation. I mean he's got an heir who is of the same dynasty. Does that count as a um PU chance? Or a possibility? Who knows? Who knows, man? Who knows? Alright, and now we're just basically looking for windows. Windows of opportunity. Mostly Ottomans. I'm looking at Ottomans, and I just want to see what are they going to do? 
what are you gonna do as soon as you're done with with your uh, with your shit? Oh, so w war with England has ended and nobody has. Okay, so Genoa is still allied to France. It's pretty bad. Pretty darn bad, because it means that Genoa is here to stay. Reduce trade investment. Not gonna lose out on any kind of mercantilism. Okay, so now that we have to fight Karako Yunlu. Which is probably like. I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother fighting Karako Yunlu. Might as well just like not have joined it but whatever I guess I did already like this is not even not even close in terms of coalition in, in terms of uh, army sizes Karaman has entered coalition Ottomans has entered coalition that's pretty bad that's very fucking bad very bad honestly What are you gonna do next? What are you gonna do next, Ottomans? We are watching you. Could get a statesman still. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit and wait for other stuff to happen. I'm just curious what will happen right now. Maybe we do need to work on Circassia. They will not vassalize peacefully. Maybe we do need to attack them. We are their only ally. We could no CB attack them. Hmm. Probably a bad idea. If only Genoa didn't have the alliance with France. Well, nothing really would happen. Nothing much, at least. We need to cancel... Oh, it, okay, it cancelled automatically. Nice. Very nice. Does this put us as a truce? It does. Good. This puts us at the truce. Oh, it's a conquest of Georgia. I thought it was going to be a conquest of Trebizond, but no. Our diplomats have stopped trying to improve relations with Poland. Could get a royal marriage with them. Or we could hire a statesman and get all the good chisels with Muscovy. Yeah, that sounds like a much better idea. We have too many diplomatic reputations. We have an alliance with Circassia. Sru screw Circassia, we're gonna break the alliance with them. Sorry Circassia, you're on your own. On your own and Trebizond. Alright, goodbye to Cassia. Muscovy is much better. Oh yeah. Could also get a royal marriage with you, maybe? And that le leads me to another alliance. Good. Very good. And fortunately, I'm... Probably shouldn't have accepted any kind of deals with Trebizond because Trebizond is weak. Like royal marriage wise, that is. That was a minor mistake, but I tend to do it a lot. So I hope that um Karak I actually hoped that Karakunli would wipe off the the Trebizond from the map, but I guess not. We'll dissolve this alliance. It's gonna make a make um like us less, but that's okay because we have Poland, Lithuania and Muscovy on our side, pretty much, right now. Okay, um, 
Bolin is getting wrecked right now, but that's not the point. Or is it? Like, what the fudge is going on here? Polish conquest of Neumark. Oh, well, I, I still hope that they will be able to crush everybody with Lithuania's might. Mighty Lithuania. Okay. Also working on Crimea to like us more. And everybody, everything is going to be pretty much good. Cancel the military access here, and we will also probably break the royal ties as well. I know this will cost me some stability and points, but it will also cost me a lot of points in the long run, as in terms of diplomacy. And I don't like losing diplomatic points, especially at this stage when I will need coring rage and shit. Alright, 3rd of June we will send the diplomat to break royal ties. This is my mistake and I have to pay for it. I also I also want to just check and see if I can maybe get out of this war. No, okay. Cuz we do have war exhaustion that is not going down. It's pretty bad if you ask me. But oh well. I suppose. Seslabis. As Shen likes to say. C'est la vie, as I like to say. Alright. Yeah, this is going pretty badly for Georgia. No surprise there. No surprise there. Maybe Venice goes to war and... Uh, <clears throat> then we will be able to... Truce with knights? Truce with the fucking knights? War is good, Crimea can't rebel if you're at war. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good as well. But they wouldn't rebel against me either way, because... They, will, they would have to fight, like, a huge war. And I'm pretty sure nobody wants to fight a huge war. That's the first thing. And the second thing, they don't really have much of an army going on for them. And especially if we improve relations with them to above zero, then they will just stop hating us. And life will be good. Ottomans, what are you doing at the moment? Oh, you were in, you were in a fucking Regency Council, really? Ah, oh, Christ almighty. Alright, speed five, guys. I really thought Ottomans, like the only chance, the only chance, the only opportunity for us right now is that either Genoa, Byzantium, or Venice, as in knights, goes to war with somebody. And if they do, if they do, like, if, if Genoa loses their alliance with France, that's good. If they also lose their status as an imperial uh, prince, even better, because then we could go to war with them, take Chios, give Azov to Crimea, give Circassia to Crimea, although it's probably gonna fall to... Uh, oh, so, sorry, give Mandrega to Crimea, although it's probably gonna fall to Circassia. That's not the point, though. The point is, I need land here so that I can jump into here. Ravina has actually acquired some alliances. So, yeah, that happened. The Pope doesn't have any allies, though. Alright. Up all night to get lucky. We can get technology for... Alright. That's also pretty decent, I say. Alright. Yeah, as I said, they're gonna be sorted with the help of Lithuania. They are gonna be sorted. Now, this doesn't mean that we should stop improving relations with these guys. They're still just in the in this because we have a, an amazing advisor. 
if we didn't have the amazing advisor, then they would be just, what the, who the hell are you? Get out of here. <laughs> and we're still losing money, by the way, so I might consider stop, stopping uh, employing that advisor. Gold! Oh my goodness gracious, look at Nuga getting wrecked by Kazan. Kazan is going to be hard to wipe out soon, at least uh, in the short term. They'll still fall off like every horde. But right now they're going to be tough. They are going to be tough. They are going to be tough. Up all night to get lucky. Bum, 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 bum. In the meantime, I guess we could trace this conflict here. The downfall of Georgia. They'll probably vassalize Georgia at this rate. Recall diplomat. Okay. We can send him to. I don't know, those five ducats. Oh no! <laughs> Improve relations with the EU. We could also support an, an heir of our dynasty. That could be cool. Should we do that? I suppose we should. Let's do that. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Our candidate has a 21.9% chance to gain plus one opinion each month. How's it uh, calculated? Odd. Oh, so Kasia is also trying to move the off Gothia, dude. Lol. <laughs> well, we'll check back later. I thought it would be really cool if we could get the off Gothia, dude. I believe you get points from that. Like, if your candidate succeeds in the election, you get points. I oh, we already got one uh, vote there. That's really nice. Up all night to get lucky. I believe our prestige and legitimacy also counts into that. Into that chance, I mean. Not sure how that works exactly. Henrik Jagelon. Alright, whatever. We'll we'll leave that be for now. Leave that be. War. War never changes. Oh, they actually decided to engage the Circassian Patriots. I can't see them, but we could actually move out the fleet and just check up on them. Hey guys, what you doing? Oh, they managed to destroy the rebels. Nice. Very nice. Not gonna blockade for you. That's gonna be ridiculous. So they're not gonna fall to Circassia after all. That's nice. Very nice. Very good job. I'll make a good job. All right. Papal state is occupying Provence. That's uh, interesting to say the least. Brittany is occupied. <laughs> Brittany makes the same mistake all the freaking time. Although they have allied Burgundy, so they might actually be all right in the long s in the long term. Did Burgundy get an heir against the lords? Holy shit! They did. They they have an heir. They, this the event can still fire. Don't get me wrong. The event can still fire. But holy shit! They have an heir. Interesting. Truly interesting. <clears throat> hmm. France is at war with Provence. Let me guess. They want a pro. They want the peace of Provence. French reconquest of Anjou. Anjou doesn't ex. It doesn't belong to Provence anymore. Oh my goodness. That's funny. In any case, I think it's time to put a cut in between episodes here. So if you're new to it, 
Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and possibly subscribe to my channel for videos like this. I will see you next time, and as always, have a good day. Bye.